So in the last video, we only managed to calculate the G value, which means that we still need to calculate the H and the F value uh, for the, for the um, what's it called, the neighbors here. And the F uh, value is calculated by taking the G value plus the H value. So we would need to calculate the H value before we can calculate the F value. And the H value is also called the heuristic value. And it is multiplied or is uh, calculated by taking the amount of tiles between the start and the goal and multiplying it by 10. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4 multiplied by 10, which is 40. And remember that this one doesn't take unwalkable tiles into account which means that it will still be exactly the same even though we would have two towers here. So it'd still be one, two, three, four multiplied by 10. And if we're down here, we would go one, two, three, four, five because we're not doing diagonal moves when we calculate the heuristics. So that is what we need to do. So to do this, we will need to go to our node script and inside the node script, uh, we will have to add a new value here because the only value we have right now for our tiles is the G value. So we need to create a new property and then write H. Okay, so this is our heuristic value. We are going to do this in two steps. And the reason that we're doing this in two steps is because I would like to show you why we're doing this. So we can say this dot H equals, and we need the tiles in between the two, the amount of tiles in between the two positions. So we can say grid position. Um, sorry, yo, yeah because this one is actually on a node. So we can say grid position dot X minus. Okay, so we need our own grid position minus the goal grid position. But right now we can't reach the goal from here. So we need to add an other parameter to the calculate values to get that goal. So we can say node goal. So now it's going to give you an error outside this, but we will fix that in a second. Equals goal mm, dot grid position. And we can put this into parentheses so it calculates this first and multiply it by um, uh, what's it called the multiply 10. So that's the um, x value, but we also need to do the same with the y. So we need to say plus um, goal dot grid position dot y, um, grid position dot y minus grid position. Um, dot y we do like this and then we can end this one with semicolon and y scale we need to say dot x here there we go okay so now we take our grid position dot x minus the gold grid position dot x and we are going to add the gold grid position dot y minus the grid position dot y and multiply it by 10 right so we have the horizontal first of all, and the um, what's called the vertical afterwards. So let's try to set the value here. Uh, right now it's, cal it's complaining because we haven't used this um, overload of the, con of the function yet. So right here it asks for goal node somewhere. So let's make go and write goal. We don't have a goal here in our A star it only asks for start so our a star here would also have to ask for point called goal need that in the a star and our current node is equal to that so so we can basically go down here and say uh, notes go to our notes um, dictionary and ask it for the node that is on the goal here there we go. So now it's complaining one level more out here. Get path. It's complaining in in a star debugger. So we need start grid position, and we need the goal here. So we can say comma goal dot grid position. Okay. So now we have our a star get path. It asks for a start position and a goal position because we need a start and a goal to be able to calculate the the route. And inside our calculate values, we use the parent where we came from our, and our goal to calculate these values and inside a star here we are calculating the values and we are also using the goal now to do so so with that in place we can figure out where we are doing the calculations 
or showing the numbers, let's say a.debugger. And inside a.debugger, we have somewhere, there we go. We have a create debug tile function. And here we're taking the debug tile and taking the D G value, setting the text of the G value. So we can say debug tile that get component debug tile dot um, h value the text plus equals node g and node dot uh, h of course so basically we're getting the same component multiple times we could shorten this out by making a uh, debug tile called temporary equal to get component debug tile dot get component debug tile because now we get the component once and then we can go down here and replace these with temporary we have here so just to make this one down here shorter and we only need to get the component once so we don't use resources and getting the component multiple times per tile okay let's try to save this and jump back to the game and see what happens now when we right click and right click and press um, space now you'll see we have an h value which is 6 here 1 to 7 8 minus 2 minus 12 minus 13 and so on so you can see um, there is something wrong here and that's why i want to do this in two steps because we need to make sure that we use the absolute value instead um, of um, what's it called in instead instead of uh, the minus values and so on so you can see here um, if we run this if we go back here to node you'll see that we take these two and actually we can do like this and do like this and put parentheses around this then you should get some okay values for now but I will show you something else that is wrong but right now we can go back here and play again Let's see what the values are click and click so now you can see they make a little more sense not really because you can see this one is minus 40 and this is minus 30 this is minus 50 and minus 30 and that doesn't make sense right so it's one two three four five six down here and it's still minus 40 so there's something wrong here and that's because we're not as i said before we're not using the absolute values and absolute values will make sure that the values will only be calculated as positive values right so it doesn't take it takes account in for um, what's called uh, minus so if we have minus 10 and we take the absolute values minus 10 we will get 10 and if we have minus 13 at uh, 213 we'll get 213 instead right so we need to take the math app so we can say here math and we don't have that namespace so right click using system math.abs then we take the grid position minus this one then we go over here and do the same math.abs and so on so now we take the absolute values instead so if we have negative values we're not going to be affected by that uh, at uh, any point and I think I put in too many parentheses here actually <laughs> see we have this one inside too this is the own and plus math that yes and here we need two instead there we go so this is how the line should look right we have the absolute value of grid position dot x minus gold dot grid position dot x and then we have the absolute value of gold dot grid position dot ui y minus grid position dot y multiplied by 10 so we take this and minus them and plus them together and then afterwards we multiply by 10 to get that uh, correct value um yeah let's try I'm, I'm not sure if i need to put that into a parenthesis let's let's test it out first let's go click and click press this is 50 1 2 3 4 5 makes sense 17 1 2 3 4 five six seven okay so now the h value are cre cre calculated correctly here so the next thing we need to do is to calculate the f value instead of the uh, as well 
Um, yeah. Sorry if I'm missing a little round before, just needed to get these parentheses okay uh, correctly. So f value should be fairly easy. This dot f, we don't have f yet, yet. To go up here and copy and paste this one and call it f. And then go down here, this dot f equals g plus h. There we go. So that's the f value. And we also need to set the value in um, on the scene so we can see it. So let's go to a.debugger and say temp dot f dot text equals that plus equals node dot f. And save and play the game and let's see if the values are correct. And let's see that looks fairly okay. Seven t plus ten is fifth is eighty, and so on. So now we have the correct g, h, and f values. So now we can actually continue our search to find the shortest path from this place to this place. And you will see that it will also work if um, if uh, the goal is to the left of the orange uh, of the start. That's the point of using that mass math dot uh, absolute value because we would get negative numbers if the goal would be placed on the wrong side of the starting node um, if if we weren't using math dot absolute value. Okay, so that's how we calculate these values, and in the next video we can continue the search so we can create a complete path uh, of um, uh, by using the A star. So thank you very much for watching and remember to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. Also remember that Inscope Studio is a community founder page so all your support is very important to me. You can support me by going to the Patreon page where you can get different perks and you can support me by clicking the bottom link on the screen right here.